What's up, runners? Welcome to Ibex Running. I'm Veronica, I'll be your coach today. And today's workout, we have a combo. It's a Tabata hit and a progressive one together. It's gonna be really fun. We're gonna get super sweaty, work hard, and crush it. Are you ready? Good, so we're gonna start off with our warm up here. We're gonna start at a brisk walk, anywhere from a 2.5 to a 3.5 on our treadmill. Ready, set, and go. Now your incline, sometimes I like to have it at about 0.5 or one. It just kind of makes it feel a little bit more of a natural running. So if you want to do that, feel free to hit your incline up to a 0.5 or a one. If you're new here to IBEX, if you look over here on my right, you will see all the different intervals, the timing, our speed, everything will be over here on my right. So if you miss something I say, feel free to look at over here. On my left, you'll see the progression of the workout. So this is the bar going as we go through the workout, it'll keep increasing. So you can see how far you've done and how far you still have left and how hard you're gonna work, right? So we're gonna be in this warm up for a little bit under 30 more seconds and then we're gonna pick it up to a light jog. Give me a deep breath in, slow exhale. It's been quite a day, quite a week, whatever it is when you're doing this workout. So it's time for you to crush something for you. We're gonna pick it up to a five to a seven speed here in five, four, three, two, one. Pick it up, let's go runners. And remember, this is just your warm up. All right, so if you wanna be a little bit on that lower end just to get your body ready, that's perfectly fine. In all of our workouts here, I'll always give you a range so you can pick where you feel comfortable and where you're challenging yourself and where you want to go. That allows you to do these workouts multiple times so that you can keep seeing your improvement, keep trying to push harder. Excellent job, Ibex. As we're in our warm-up, I want you to start noticing your body a little bit more, right? Let's get ourselves into proper position because when we run efficiently, we can run smoother, we can run faster, and we can run longer. And that's what we're here to do, right? Train hard. There you go, give me a deep breath in, slow exhale. Make sure you keep that head up, right? We don't want our chin up to the ceiling. We want to keep it nice, straight, and forward because that's where we're going. Shoulders are down and back. Keep that chest open so we can take those nice deep breaths in and slow exhale. Make sure you're breathing a little bit deeper than just your chest here, right? We want to breathe deep from the belly. Excellent, under a minute to go here. Our core, right? That is the center of everything we do. So we want to make sure that is tight, stabilizing our body. Keeps everything nice and smooth going forward. Our arms, we're swinging from the shoulders, right? We want to make sure those elbows are going back so that we're not crossing over our midline here. Keep everything forward and back. Nice and smooth and relaxed because if you've run with me before, you know everything that my upper body does my lower body's gonna do. So if I'm nice and loose and relaxed here, my lower body will be nice and relaxed. 15 more seconds here. We're gonna pick it up a little bit faster in this warm up for just one minute. So wherever you are now, I want you to go up by 0.5. Here we go. In four, three, two, one. Take it up by 0.5. So you should be anywhere from 5.5 to a 7.5. Good, just for one minute. Let's go, Ibex. And lastly, let's think about those legs. If we start to pick up that speed, right? You're gonna notice your cadence or your turnover of your legs, your cycle is gonna speed up with it. So let's make sure that's nice and efficient, right? Hips are forward. Engage those glutes, engage those hip flexors. As you push down into the treadmill, you're propelling your body forward. Let's go, Ibex. Under 30. Good, deep breath in, slow exhale. We're gonna finish off this warm up with a brisk walk again. So you're gonna be anywhere from a three to a four on that speed. Good, here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Take it on down, three to four. You're here walking for a minute. And then my friends, we're gonna get started with the first part of our combo workout today. So we're gonna start off with our HIT, high intensity interval training, right? You're gonna have multiple intervals here. You're gonna be running hard for 40 seconds. 40 seconds goes quick, so I want you to really crank it up. As always, right, I give you that range. Pick where in that range you're still challenging yourself so that you are improving each interval. And then I'll give you that recovery. This will be your speed for your recovery. You're gonna be there for a quick 20 seconds, but I promise 
That's enough time for you to catch your breath and get ready for that next one. All right, if you need a sip of water, my friends, please grab that now. Make sure shoelaces are tied because we're about to get started here. Woo! Love HIIT workouts. Here we go. Your range is going to be 6.5 to a 9.5. Let's go in three, two, one. Hit it, Ibex. Come on. Remember, it's just 40 seconds. That's going to go really quick. Think about all your form, everything we worked on in our warm-up, everything we thought about in that warm-up. Bring it in now. Hold yourself together. That's awesome. Come on. HIIT workouts are really meant to challenge you to push to a speed that you've never gone before or to push to a speed that you want to go to. Do it here because it's short and condensed. Let's go, 10 seconds, Ibex. Woo! You got it, five, four, three, two, one. Take it back down, three to four. 20 second recovery, you got one down. Woo, see, not so bad. It goes super, super quick. In this recovery, I want you to think about filling up the belly a little bit. Nice deep breaths in, so exhale, cause hit number two is coming up. In three, let's go. Two, one, hit it back to 6.5, to that 9.5. Remember, just because you start on a certain number does not mean that you need to stick to that number. Think in your head when we get to the end of this workout where you wanna be. How hard do you wanna go? How fast do you wanna go? What's been your goal this whole time with your training? What speed are you trying to hit in your mile or in each mile of a 5K? Whatever it is that you're training for, these are the workouts that are gonna help you get to that speed somewhere you've never been before. Come on, Ibex. Woo! You got four, three, two, one. Take it down to that walk, three to five, or four. <laughs> Take it on down. Woo! You're like, five, Ranga, that's my job. <laughs> Take it on down, nice deep breaths. Awesome job. We got 10 hits. All right, two down, three, two, one. Let's go, number three. Oh yes, Ibex. They're gonna go quick. Right, rests are short, but the intervals are short. That treadmill picks up speed, and before you know it, you're already hitting it down for that recovery. 20 seconds here. I want you to be going at speed that by the end of it, when I'm counting down, you're like, please hurry. Let's go. 10 seconds. We want to go faster and faster. I want you to hit that speed you've never been at. We got four, three, two, one. Take it off. Three down. Right? Because it goes super fast. I keep saying that, but I mean it. You're experiencing that now. Three of them. They go really fast, so don't be scared to bump it up just a little bit more. All right. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Pick it back up. Pick up that speed. Maybe you go just point one faster. You know what that is? Faster. Come on. Here we go, Ibex. When we do these workouts, right, we're training for a race. And we know when we race, you are pushing yourself to complete exhaustion. You're going as hard as you possibly can, trying to beat times, trying to beat distances. You got 10 seconds. Come on. Deep breath in. Slow exhale. Last five, four, three, two, one. Take it off. Right? We know that the race is gonna hurt. It's gonna burn those legs gonna burn those lungs our body's getting depleted we expect that to hurt right so when we train I want you to expect the same thing because you're not training so it doesn't hurt you train to tolerate it three two one six point five to nine point five let's go come on you train so you will learn how to tolerate that fatigue how to tolerate that speed how to push yourself harder that's why we're here doing this hit Let's get it, Ibex. Come on. Whew. You got 20 seconds here. Hit that plus sign. Why not? It goes quick. Excellent. 10 seconds here on this interval. Whew. You got five, four, 
three, two, one. Take it off. The speed that you're going is all about you, right? 40 seconds of running is 40 seconds of running, no matter what speed you're doing at. So be proud of yourself for keeping up with it. Short rest, quick deep breath in. We're hitting it again. Are you ready, Ibex? Three, two, one, let's go. Come on. Woo. You're halfway. Halfway, runners. Let's get it. There you go. You got 20 seconds. Run hard with me. Run hard for yourself. That speed. Go there right now. 10 seconds. Come on. Stay up nice and tall. Actively push your foot into that treadmill. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it off. Three to four. If you're starting to get comfortable, that's good because that means you're ready for that next step. Come on. If you feel like your legs are burning, you find it hurting like crazy, that's good. Three, two, one, let's go. That means change and success is right around the corner then. Let that burn come. Get excited when you feel that. Get excited when you're breathing really heavy because that means, my friends, you are getting better. Come on, ring it in. 20 seconds here, let's go. Woo! Excellent job, Ibex. 10 seconds, you wanna hit that plus? Go for it. We got a big range here for you. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it down, three to four. Woo! You got three more. Three more hits, and then we move on to that progressive run. All right? So we're picking up that heart rate, we're telling ourselves we're finding that speed, and I want you to use that in the progressive run. Three, two, one, let's go. Yes, it's time. Yes, it's time, I know. That rest seems to go faster and faster, right? That's okay. That's good. That means you are training. We train to tolerate. We train to get better. Struggle with me. Keep struggling, but don't quit. Struggle is good. Struggle is a fight. And we come on this treadmill every day to fight. There you go, Ibex. Come on, bring it in. Four, three, two, one. Three to five. Four, <laughs> I keep saying five. Whew. Deep breath in. Slow exhale, that's it, Ibex, come on. You got two more. Where do you wanna be? You got 6.5 to 9.5. Three, two, one, let's go. There you go. Two more 40 second hits, come on. There you go. I want you to go as fast as you possibly can for these last two. I want you to really crank it up because you got a nice break in between them. Come on, runners. 15 seconds, go for it. Hit that plus sign. What happens when you do? What happens when you push through that struggle? You got five, four, three, two, one, three to four. Let's get it, Ibex. Your last one. Your last one right here. All right, hit that speed. Hit it, go for it on this last one. I promise you, you're gonna be so proud when you're done. You fight through it with me, are you ready? Oh yes, three, two, one, let's go. Let's go, 40 seconds. Come on. That's it, stay tall. Hold your form together, remember. Good form allows us to run smoother, allows us to run efficiently, allows us to go faster, longer. 20 seconds, come on. Woo, that's what I'm talking about. Pick up that speed, Ibex, you got 10 seconds. If you're not where you wanna be yet, get there now. You got five, four, three, 
two, one, take it down, three to four. Woo. Deep breath in. There you go, slow exhale. Excellent job, Ibex. This is a great time if you need it. Grab a sip of water. Focus on that breathing, right? Nice deep breath in. Fill up that belly, slow exhale. All right, when we breathe too fast, that picks up the heart rate more. Let's keep it slow. You got just under two minutes here. All right, before we go into our progressive run. Now with our progressive run, again, I'm giving you a range. But each minute, I want you to pick it up by 0.2 at a minimum. All right, 0.2, you can do that, all right? Our range is gonna keep shifting. I want you to shift with it. A progressive run is supposed to be at each minute once by the time you get to the end of the minute, you feel comfortable with that speed because you've been working with it for a while. And it's time to make you uncomfortable again. All right, Ibex, you can do that. Today, not only is a combo workout, but it is a shout out workout. We have some really loyal runners here and we wanna shout you out because we're proud of you. We love all your comments, your progress. It makes us super excited. So I have Sherry Ward. She does our progressive interval workouts regularly and we love it. You've been improving, you've been working hard. Keep it up. We've got Sherry Leanne Hart. She runs three to five times a week. I love it. Keep pushing, keep fighting. All right, I love that consistency. You found something that's working for you, you found something that you love, stick with it. Here we go. Rob Hulub, and it's lunchtime. He does his walking workouts. It's a great way to break up your day. Get yourself moving in the middle of the day to give you that energy you need to finish the work week. We have Bonnie Mueller. We love all of your comments. Bonnie, we like to keep motivating you. We wanna keep pushing you, keep it up. LH. Our longtime supporter in the UK. Keep it up, girlfriend. Love it. We got 10 seconds here before we start that progressive run. All right. You're going to be in our range of six to eight for that speed. Are you ready? Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's go. Six to eight. Six to eight is where we're starting. Remember, you're here for a full minute. Full minute. Wherever you want to be, where do you want to finish? All right. Woo. Keep it up, runners. Keep it up, awesome job. Deep breath in, this is where we think about our form. Shouting out some more people. We got Aiden, woo, yes Aiden. Aiden Owen, crushing it. Joey Sinelli, you've been crushing that Jessica Alba workout. Keep it up, and Beth Yu long-term supporter with us. Love it. Keep those comments going, Ibex. We love hearing from you. We wanna keep supporting you. We'll shout you out more and more the more we hear from you. We're gonna pick that up by point two. Remember, progressive workout. In three, two, one, let's go. Minimum of point two. You wanna go harder, you wanna go faster? You know what I'm gonna say. Go for it, Ibex, come on. Whew. Remember. These workouts, training, running in general, it's not about being perfect, right? It's about going, right? It's about going every day, about moving that body every day. Because when you keep going every day, you're improving yourself every day. When we improve ourselves every day, we improve ourselves completely. Let's go, runners. Woo! Here we go, you got 20 more seconds before you're picking that up again. Remember, by the end you might feel comfortable, so get ready to fight through a little bit of discomfort here. This is how we build up that stamina. We worked hard during those intervals to get our body comfortable with a certain speed, and now I want you to use it. Three, two, one, let's pick it up. Come on. Woo! Deep breath in, slow exhale, we should be anywhere from a 6.4 to an 8.4 now. One minute, that's all I want you to focus on. All right, we're doing five of these. But only focus on this one minute that you're in right now. Think about your form. That should always be your center. That should always be what you gravitate towards when you start to feel that struggle. Make sure that form is on point. Because if you can run really fast, 
but your form's all over the place. Are you really improving yourself? We want to strengthen the muscles to run correctly. We want to strengthen our body to be able to move correctly. Maybe you have to go a little bit slower at first in order to do that, and that's okay because then your growth will be higher than if you continue to run with incorrect habits. Three, two, one, let's pick it up. Minimum of point two, come on. Woo, let's go runners. You got two more. Excellent job. Deep breath in, slow exhale. I want you to completely exhaust yourself today. That's where I want you to be in this progressive run. It's not that long. All right, we got a short one today. So completely exhaust yourself, because you know what happens at the end of the workout when you do that? You completely relax yourself. You completely do something for your body that it's craving. So push it to that limit, fully exhausted. Come on, runners. 15 seconds here. Woo! That's it. Focus on that breathing and form. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's hit it, last one. Come on, last one. 6.8 to 8.8. Where are you at? If you've done this workout multiple times, where have you improved to? Woo! That's it, runners. Deep breath in. So exhale, let's finish this together. We train to tolerate that discomfort. We train so that body understands what it feels like when that fatigue sets in, when that lactic acid sets in, and it knows that it can fight through it. So fight through it here, let's go. 20 seconds, come on. Woo. That's it, runners. Your final 10 of your combo workout. Hit that plus sign. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it down to five to seven. We're gonna recover a little bit here. You did a lot in this workout today. I'm so proud of you, but I want you to bring that heart rate down a little bit slower. All right, so we're gonna jog here for a minute. Anywhere from five to seven. Wherever that jog is for you. Excellent. And while you're here, deep breaths in, right? We wanna slow that heart rate down. Whew. One run, Ibex. One run changes your day. One workout changes your whole mentality on what you're about to do for the rest of your day or what you're gonna to do tomorrow. So if we keep changing that one day, what do we end up doing? Changing ourselves, changing our life. Here we go. 10 seconds here. Woo. And then we bring it on down to a brisk walk here. Three, two, one, 2.5 to 3.5. Excellent job, Ibex. One more minute here with me. Enjoy this walk right now. Be proud of yourself and everything you accomplished in this workout. Remember, right? We have ranges in all of our intervals, ranges in all of our progressive runs. That range allows you to repeat this workout. It allows you to find a way to continue to improve and have that benchmark. So maybe today you didn't quite hit that goal you wanted to do. That's okay, because you know what? You did it and you have an opportunity to do it again and go get that goal next time. All right, you got 20 more seconds here with me. As always, if you want to continue walking, you want to continue bringing that heart rate down, I want you to keep walking. Recovery is super important, so that way next time we can run together again. Make sure you're taking care of that body because you only got one. Awesome job, Ibex. With me, you got four, three, two, one, and take it off. Again, congratulations on completing your combo hit and progressive workout. So proud of you. Can't wait to see you next time on Ibex Running. Up all night, up all night with you.